In our last section, we learned that the terms in a polynomial should be arranged into standard form, from the highest degree to the lowest degree. In this section, we'll learn to identify and combine terms that are alike to make sure our polynomials are in their simplest form. Often in math, we look for ways to simplify the math expressions we're working on. For example, we simplify fractions, exponents, expressions with brackets, etc. This can give more clarity to the problems we're working on. Remember, math is mostly about improving your thinking to arm yourself with the skills needed to be a better problem solver. The way we exercise our brains during our math workouts can go a long way to making us better at tackling all kinds of problems. Recognizing similar items is likely something you've been doing from an early age. Now we're just applying it to like terms in a math expression. Nothing really complex here, but critical that the variable parts and the terms are identical. Hopefully you recognize right away that two terms with different variables like 3y and 3x certainly are not the same and cannot be simplified. We don't know what the values for the y or the x are. All we know is that we have three of each of them. They could be three apples and three oranges for all we know. And when we try to put them together, we still have three apples and three oranges. But if two terms contain the same variables, all raised to the same powers, we have a match. 3y squared x squared and 2y squared x squared are like terms as their variable parts are identical. Again, we don't know what the variables represent, but whatever it is, it's the same and thus we can combine them. Maybe they represent pairs. We have 3 plus 2 equals 5 pairs. So when the variable parts are the same, we simply combine the values of their coefficients, which in this case would get us 5y squared x squared. Is xy a match with yx? Yes. Order and multiplication doesn't change the value. Don't be fooled by the order of the parts of the term. If someone was trying to be sneaky, they could even ask if x squared y is the same as xxy. The answer would of course be yes. It doesn't really matter how complex the terms get, as long as they all have the same variable parts. For a to the sixth, b to the fourth, c to the second can be combined with any other term with the same variables and exponent values, like this term. By subtracting the coefficients, we are left with our simplified term. So now we realize that terms with different variables are unique and cannot be simplified or combined. How about terms that do have the same variables but different exponent values? In this simple expression, all four terms have an x. Let's focus on just the variable parts for a moment. The leading term is a third degree term. Recall that this could represent a three dimensional cube to show volume. A term to the second power is said to be squared and can be represented as a two dimensional area. A first degree term can be shown as a linear dimension, and our zeroth term is, of course, a constant. The different degrees definitely change the meaning of each term, once again making them unique and thus not allowing us to combine them. However, you know there's a way to combine exponents with the same bases and wonder if you can do it here. It's hard to remember all the rules we learn in math, but as a problem solver, it often only takes a minute to check your memory. For example, you may want to try to add the exponents. Does y squared plus y to the first equal y to the third? Not positive? Check. Substitute a real value like 3. Does 3 squared plus 3 to the first equal 3 to the third? No, 9 plus 3 does not equal 27. Then you remember the rule for combining exponents only applies with multiplication, not for the addition we find in polynomials. Let's practice simplifying a few polynomials. As soon as you recognize like terms, go ahead and combine the coefficients. 
4x squared plus 3x plus x minus 5 has two terms with x to the first power. Combine those coefficients to simplify to 4x squared plus 4x minus 5. In this polynomial, we see that the first two terms have the same variable parts. The first term has three positive x squareds, and the second term has two negative x squareds. By combining them, we're left with one positive x squared. No other terms are matching. Once again, don't be thrown by more complex examples like this one. Start by rewriting it into standard form. That makes it easier to see all the like terms and start combining them. The final result is a much cleaner polynomial. In math, we often look for ways to simplify so we can more easily look to solve problems. With polynomials, we look for terms that have identical variable parts that can be combined. Like terms must contain the same variables, each raised to the same powers. We cannot combine apples and oranges, or variables with different exponent values. Work to try to come up with strategies to test math rules you're unsure of. And most importantly, work to understand what you're doing so that your brain exercising leads you to be a better problem solver. In our next section, we'll explore adding polynomials as an extension of what we learned here.